Hey everybody, Luke here, and today we're talking about shoulder pain again and the rotator cuff. And one of the most common questions that we hear from clients at the clinic, uh, especially after they had an MRI report and then they have a, a tear in their rotator cuff, and the question then becomes, I have a torn rotator cuff, do I need surgery? And I'm gonna answer that question in today's video. It depends on several factors that I'm gonna kind of run through, and then I'm gonna have some advice for you if you do have a torn rotator cuff on your MRI, um, depending on what your presentation is like, what you should do for your next step. Um, before we get into the content, if you would, please like the video, hit the subscribe button, I'd appreciate that. Um, keep those future videos coming to you. So again, you've got a torn rotator cuff, which on an MRI, you're gonna hear those two common terms again, which is uh, supraspinatus, uh, tear and infraspinatus tear. Those are the most common two. You might also hear um, your subscapularis. Um, there's four rotator cuff muscles, but usually it's those first two again, supraspinatus, infraspinatus. And it could be a small tear, it could be a medium-sized tear, it could be a massive tear, it um, could be a full thickness tear or a partial thickness tear. And um, so depending on those findings and a bunch of other factors, that's going to help you determine if you do in fact need surgery. So let's just start talking through a few of the factors. Um, the first factor is of course the size of the tear. Um, if it's a massive tear and a full thickness tear, something that in general you will not expect to heal on its own, that's gonna be indicative of surgery. Now let's say though you have a, a, a massive tear like that and you've got full use of your arm and it's not painful, then you might say, well, maybe surgery isn't needed. That's not real common though. So commonly if you've got like an obvious tear in your rotator cuff and you'll see people with an obvious tear where they really can't raise their arm. They're kind of like, you know, hitching their shoulder up and can only do, can't see my arm that well, you know, a partial movement of your arm, then uh, most likely, then yes, you're going to require surgery. I think where it becomes a little more confusing though is when you're in that middle range. It's a small tear, you've got pain, but you've got some use of your arm. So let's dive into that now and talk about that. So again, um, it's a smaller tear. Um, your arm is painful, that's why you're having an MRI, but you can still do certain movements. And uh, maybe you know you just can't do certain things like sleep on the shoulder or you can't reach behind your back, which is very common of rotator cuff pain and impingement type pain. Um, so again, do you need surgery because of that? And I would say not necessarily, but you kind of want to go through this decision-making process, which is first of all, um, have you done conservative therapy already? And that primarily is physical therapy. Um, again, I'm biased, but that's primarily what we see people for. If it's a medium-sized tear, a smaller tear, what you really want to know is um, can you do some physical therapy and potentially heal that uh, torn tendon? Um, so that's, I think, the decision-making algorithm is um, have you tried it already? Now, a lot of people with a tear or they've gone to get an MRI, they've already tried physical therapy. And if you've done everything you can do with physical therapy, assuming your therapist you know, kind of knew what they were doing, um, and you still can't get you know, lasting pain relief and you still can't do certain motions, that's when you're typically gonna be consulting with a surgeon and determining if you need surgery. The, some other things that go into this decision-making process too are, um, you can have bony changes at your shoulder. So we've talked a little bit about other videos about impingement syndrome, where basically you're, you're, the reason your rotator cuff um, tendon is torn is because it's been getting pinched by like a bone spur. So if that's part of the equation, then you might be leaning more towards surgery again because you've got some structural issues that are gonna prevent that tissue from healing, um, especially that top muscle, which I mentioned earlier, the supraspinatus muscle. So it's not an easy question to answer, and it's a little bit different you know, from, from different people. Um, where I live, uh, you know, kind of Pacific Northwest, we've got really good orthopedic surgeons, so we can rely on their expertise quite a bit. And um, you know, obviously we have pretty easy access to physical therapists too. But if you're kind of doing it a little more on your own or you know, you're know you watching it from a different part of the country or the world where you don't have as much access, what I would say the, the basic decision-making process I would go through is um, how significant is the tear, uh, how much use of your arm do you have right now, and have you tried conservative therapy with physical therapy? Can you re-strengthen the, the rotator cuff? Can you improve healing with blood flow and breaking up scar tissue? Can that tissue heal? And if you go through all of those things things um, and you still can't get the shoulder pain to go away and you've still got a, a known tear on your rotator cuff, then I think you're getting closer to deciding if you need surgery. Um, so I hope that helps kind of just clear up a little bit of the decision-making process. Um, I know everyone's uh, situation is different and unique. So certainly if you've got questions about your situation, just post it below the video and I'll do my best to get back to you as quickly as I can. And again, I always appreciate comments down there, uh, words of encouragement. So please don't hesitate to do that. And uh, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe before you go. Thanks again. I'll see you next time.